Joining me now, Tom Holman, Fox News contributor, former acting director of ICE. Tom, the migrants want Biden, and they basically tell us the story that most of us know, that the open border has been courtesy of this president and his DHS. You're exactly right. Look, the illegal aliens know that Trump comes into power, that border's going to be shut down. We're going to secure it. Look, we had a 45-year low on illegal immigration during the Trump years. And not only do the illegal aliens know it, the cartels know it. So the cartels, that's their big sales pitch right now to the most vulnerable people all over the world. Get to the United States now, because Trump will secure the border and shut it down like he did before. When you think about this new so-called immigration, old, recycled immigration bill that Senator Langford from Oklahoma, a Republican, thought he could, you know, work on with Schumer and just release at the last moment and obviously a complete disaster. Um, why would any Republican in, in their right, his right mind ever go along with this, knowing what we do? And we'll put up the bullet points in a moment. Look, I, I still can't figure out. Look, I've done this for over three decades. That's the worst border bill I've seen in my lifetime. And they want to blame President Trump for sabotaging the passage of that bill. Look, President Trump knows the border. He knows what works. He had unprecedented success. And he talked to people like me who told him this border bill is terrible. It didn't stop catch and release. It just keep funding the NGOs for billions of dollars to be complicit in the smuggling of illegal aliens in this country. It didn't do nothing about child or, or sex trafficking. It did nothing. And, and they said it's okay to have four to 5,000 illegal entries a day before they secure the border. That's 1.8 million a year. So anybody, Republican, Democrat, Independent, thinks it's okay for 1.8 million crossings a year before we secure the border? It's ridiculous. I can't believe Langford or anybody else will even think about supporting a bill like this. Well, it's really a migration bill, right? So it kind of regularizes the levels of migration um, and the way they treat it. They, they they treat it like these these individuals, these people are animals. They The Democrats treat them like animals. They're trafficked, uh, subject to abuse. Women are raped. They have rape trees. That's how they treat them. Like, it's, oh, it's just normal migration patterns. You hear the UN humanitarians uh, say that a lot. But almost 2 million a year and N nothing, no triggers on the law at all. Again, this is a migration and an amnesty bill. This is not an immigration enforcement bill. Tom, final thought. My biggest concern is the biggest national security vulnerability we've seen since 9-11. We got nearly two million gotaways. We got people from 180 countries been arrested. Some of these countries are sponsored by terror. They've arrested over 160 on terrorist watches on the southern border alone. Four years, we had 11 under Trump. How many terrorists have crossed that border? How many terrorists are a part of that two million gotaways? You would think this would be a nonpartisan issue. Everybody on the Hill, Republican, Democrat, Independent, if you don't understand this is a national security crisis, then you shouldn't have that job you have on Capitol Hill. Only way to do this is get rid of, get rid of uh, this incumbent president, vote him out of office, and uh, reelect the man who actually knows how to secure the border. Tom, always great to see you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.